Chrissy. It's time to get excited for the fourth annual Ladybug release coming up next weekend at Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. You and the entire family is invited. Herb Frazier is here to explain the reason for the release. So first tell me a little bit, why are we releasing ladybugs at Magnolia Plantation? Good morning. Good morning. Well, there are two principal reasons. Mm -hmm. First of all, the most important reason is that ladybugs are very beneficial to the environment. You know, they help guard against harmful insects in the gardens. Okay. The next reason is children just love them. <laughs> and they love to dress up in ladybug costumes. Aww. Their families dress up in ladybug costumes. And we're going to have a variety of activities that will help them just have a good time and help the gardens and the environment at the same time. Exactly. So it's exciting all around. It's fun for the family and yes. it's, it's great for the plantation yes. as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And some of the activities, we're going to have face painting, some craft activities, and interactive activities with the children. The Grice Marine, Marine Lab will be there, the South Carolina Aquarium, uh, Pearl Blue uh, Farms will be there, um, Blue Pearl Farms will be there, uh, DNR. And, and, and it's very educational as well. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. you encourage people to really get into it and dress up yeah, and bring out those up. ladybug That's costumes. That's the important thing because we're going to be giving out prizes, oh. not only for children of all age, ages, but also prizes for the families that dress up in the coolest ladybug costumes. So how does the release work? How many ladybugs are we talking about? Well, each person will get a small container of ladybugs, and they can go out into the gardens anywhere they choose. Uh, the event is from 9 to 2. Mm -hmm. The ladybugs will arrive at around 10 o'clock. We have a really cool Volkswagen Beetle that is of course. <laughs> decked out like a ladybug, of course, and will come, and that will, be, that will signal the start of the release. And we have large crowds for this event, so we encourage people to call uh, our office, 571-1266, uh, extension 225, to prepay mm -hmm. to get into the garden. That will expedite your entry into the gardens because, like I said, this is a very popular event and we're expecting very large crowds. I love that. I love that each person really gets to be a part of it and release the ladybugs themselves. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's not the garden doing it. It's no, each yes, individual every, family. You can go anywhere. And in fact, some people, we, some people take their ladybugs home mm -hmm. with them and okay. release them in their gardens at home. So people are welcome that. to do that yeah, too. Yeah, you can do that as well. Yes. Anything you want to do with your ladybugs? It sounds yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And so it's next weekend. Next weekend. Tell me next again Saturday. when. Next Saturday, July 22nd, from nine to two. Uh, this does require guard admissions, which is twenty dollars for adults, uh, less for children, of course. Uh, children under six are free, and that's important because we do get some. A lot of children come to this event. And we, it's all designed for the family and for children and to educate people about the importance of protecting the environment. Sounds like a lot of fun. And don't yes. forget to bring those ladybug costumes with you for those contests. We'll post all the information online at counton2.com. Stay with us. We're coming back right after the break.